Just so you know, since Lizzie likes you so much, decided to accept the fact that you're going out with her. Really? That, okay, that's great. Yeah. But then I changed my mind. <laughs> Funny like that. <laughs> so I told Lizzie, now I'm telling you, I don't want you seeing my daughter anymore. All right, look, I, I realize it upsets you. Yes, it does. <laughs> but Elizabeth and I are, are both adults, and so I don't think there's really anything you can do about it. I'll call the university and tell them about your relationship and have you fired. Oh, a man with a plan. <laughs> oh, my God, what a great surprise. This is such a beautiful house. Thank you. So this is the kitchen. I feel like we're the only two people in the world. <laughs> Relax, Paul. You're doing great. She likes you. She, she likes you. She likes you. You know why? Because you're a neat guy. You are the man. You are the man. Still got it. Still sexy. You're just a love machine. I'm just a love machine. Don't look at it, but you have, baby. Just tell them you're going home, okay? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, don't go in there. Don't go in there. I need another soda. Ross! Oh, my God, Ross! What in heaven's name are you doing here? And that is why we cannot see each other anymore. <laughs> Ross? You and I are gonna have to have a little talk. Daddy, uh... You're next! Okay. I didn't know he was here. <laughs> Let me just see if I got this straight. I tell you to stay away from my daughter, or I'll have you fired. What you heard was, take my daughter, come up to my country house, and ruin my weekend with Rachel. Okay, please, please, Paul, just let me explain. No, let me explain! Fired! <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Have me fired. But uh, I want you to know that you and I are, are not all that different. I mean, I too am a neat guy. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I too am just a love machine. <laughs> Ross, let me show you where the guest room is. <laughs> I think it's the dying cat parade. <laughs> Sounds like it's coming from across the street. Oh, my God. What? You know that thing that Ross was going to do at our wedding? He was hanging out with me yesterday, and he turned to me and he said, 
You're half Scottish, right? No, there is no way to not be right. Why is your family Scottish? Why is your family Ross? We cannot play our wedding. I mean, everyone will leave. I mean, come on, that is just noise. It's not even a song. Well, listen very carefully, I think. It's Celebration by Cool and the Gang. <laughs> feel like a snack. Do you want some shortbread? It's Scottish, like you are. Oh, no thanks. I don't like anything from my Scottish heritage. What? <laughs> well, just my entire family was run out of Scotland by... Vikings. Well, it sounds to me like your family's ready to uh, rediscover its Scottish roots. You can't play bagpipes at the wedding. <laughs> How did you know about that? We heard you play all the way from your apartment. Were you the ones who called the cops? <laughs> That's not really important right now. <clears throat> what is important is while we appreciate the gesture, we just don't feel that bagpipes are appropriate for our wedding. Why not? Because we hate them. <laughs> just, just give me a chance to perform for you and then decide whatever you want. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what song I'm going to play either, but... Uh, Let's just say when it's over, I'll bet there'll be a wee bit o celebration. Remember, I'm, I'm still learning. One, two, three, four! song sing along <laughs> look good, Joe. Well, the fridge broke, so I had to eat everything. Cold cuts, ice cream, limes. And, hey, what was in that brown jar? That's still in there? Not anymore. <clears throat> so anyway, how do you want to pay me? Is this a service you're providing me? No, 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 no for my new fridge, for our new fridge. Our new fridge? I don't live here anymore. So what? Look, okay, suppose we were a uh, divorced couple. Uh -huh. And I got custody of the kid, right? Now suppose the kid dies and, and I gotta buy a new kid. Okay. Give me $400! <laughs> well, I'm not ready for this, okay? Well, what do I tell her? Just tell her the truth. Tell her you're not ready. I could do that. <laughs> well, what if she gets upset and you distract her with a Barbie doll? <laughs> or you could just, you know... You... <laughs> what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell am I doing? You just broke my fridge! <laughs> what? The, what? How do you know if... How do you know it's even broken? Oh, you think I don't know what breaks my fridge? <laughs> Excuse me. Well, what do you know? Broken. <laughs> That'll be $400. Joey, I saw you push him. <laughs> you pushed him. <laughs> Joey, I did not break this, okay? That has been broken for a while. <laughs> Hi, Chen, remember I told you about our fridge? Uh-huh. 
I still haven't gotten the check for your half yet. Do not give him any money. I'm not talking to you. You broke my fridge. Just act like everything around you turns you on. Oh, okay. Like this, like this dish towel. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this feels so good against my cheek. I can eat that. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Okay, it's busy. He's coming, he's coming. Hey, what's up? Hey. Monica, I was wondering if you could make me some of that righteous mac and cheese like last year. Uh, I'd love to. Love macaroni and cheese. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I love carrots. Oh. Um, and, and and you know, if I get really hot, um, I I like to pick up this knife and and um, I, I put the the cold steel against um my body. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm fine. It's... Twenty year old male. He's got a severed toe on his right foot. Could you please not do that feet first? You know where his injury is. Severed toe, you just said it. <laughs> Says here the knife went right through your shoe. Of course it did. They're made of wicker. <laughs> Don't worry, son. We'll just reattach it and then... What? What is it? You brought a carrot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll go back and get it. It's too late. All we can do now is sew up the wound. Without my toe, I need my toe. That's why I lost my toe. Because I called you fat. That's why, for an entire year, people called me Sir limps a lot I'm sorry. Sir limps a lot I came up with that. You're a dork. Someone at work ate my sandwich. Well, what did the police say? My Thanksgiving leftover sandwich. I can't believe someone just ate it. Ross, it's just a sandwich. Just a sandwich? Look, I am 30 years old, okay? I'm gonna be divorced twice and I just got evicted. That sandwich was the only good thing going on in my life. Someone ate the only good thing going on in my life. <laughs> Look, I, I, I left a note and everything. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ross Geller's lunch. <laughs> Ross Geller's lunch who? Ross Geller's lunch, please don't take me, okay? <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't go home wearing your lunch. <laughs> okay, look, you want to hold on to your food? You got to scare people off. I learned that living on the street. Really? So, so what would you say, Phoebes? Stuff like, uh, keep your mitts off my grub. Say, Ross, when you picture Phoebe living on the street, is she surrounded by the entire cast of Annie? <laughs> okay, this will keep them away from your stuff. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Phoebe, you are a badass. Well, someday I'll tell you about the time I stabbed the cop. Phoebe? What? He stabbed me first! Phoebe? Yeah? Phoebe, your note? Amazing. Not only did no one touch my sandwich, but people at work are actually afraid of me. Yeah, a guy called me mental. Mental Geller. Yeah. I've always wanted a cool nickname like that. Yeah, the best you got in high school was a uh, wet pants Geller. It was the water fountain, okay? Anyway. People are writing reports for me, uh, pushing back deadlines to fit my schedule. I'm telling you, you get tough with people and you can get anything you want. Hey, Tribbiani, give me that coffee now. We've been getting reports of some very angry behavior on your part. What? Threatening letters, refusal to meet deadlines. Apparently, people now call you 
mental. Yeah. <laughs> we want you to speak to a psychiatrist. Oh, no. <laughs> I, you, you don't understand. Ugh, oh, this is so silly. Um, this is all just because of a sandwich. <laughs> A sandwich? Yeah, uh, you see, my, my sister makes these amazing turkey sandwiches. Her secret is she puts a, an extra slice of gravy-soaked bread in the middle. I call it the moist maker. <laughs> anyway, I, I put my sandwich in the fridge over here. And... <laughs> oh, oh, you know what? I, I'm sorry. I, I, I believe I ate that. <laughs> you ate my sandwich? I, it was a simple mistake. It could happen to anyone. Oh, really? <laughs> Did you confuse it with your own turkey sandwich with the moist maker? No. I... Do you perhaps remember seeing a note on top of it? There may have been a, a joke or limerick of some kind. That said, it was my sandwich. <laughs> now, now, calm down. Come look in my office. Uh, some of it may still be in the trash. <laughs> what? Well, it was quite large. I, 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 I had to throw most of it away. You, 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 you threw my sandwich away. My sandwich? My sandwich? Uh, it's really important to the director that everything in this movie is authentic. Yeah. And so, in your love scene with Sarah, she talks about how she's never seen a naked man who wasn't Jewish. So... <laughs> so, what? So, uh, well, the director is insisting that whoever played that part be authentically, uh, anatomically not Jewish. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. No, what? <laughs> An Italian Catholic immigrant at this time would not be... Bar Mitzvah? <laughs> So to get this part, you can't be? No. Nope. But you are? Yep. But you told them you weren't? That's right. Wow, wow. And it's definitely all gone. There's nothing there to work with. <laughs> What are you thinking? Oh, I don't know. I really want this part. You know, and they tell you, no matter what you get asked during an audition, you say yes. Like, if, if they want you to ride a horse, you tell them you can, and you just figure out how to do it later. Joey, <laughs> this is not like learning to ride a horse. This is like learning to grow a turtleneck. <laughs> Apparently tomorrow, when I go in to meet the director, I have to take off my clothes so that they can see what my body looks like. Oh, my God. What are you going to do? I just have to call my agent and tell her I can't do the part. Unless. Unless what? Well, this may sound crazy, but there may be something that we could fashion. <laughs> like what? Well, I'm not sure yet, but um, off the top of my head, I'm thinking double-sided tape and some sort of luncheon meat. <laughs> All right. Turkey, mm, that won't work. Cheese, that won't work. Olive loaf, I hope that won't work. <laughs> Are you making him a sandwich? No, it's um, more like a wrap. So, why don't you go into your room and try these on, and we'll see if we'll get a better idea of what's going to work. Thanks. You are such a good friend, and this is so weird. We just need to, uh... Leslie? Uh, Joey, this is the awkward part. Oh, hey, right. Not a problem. I totally understand. You need to, you know, make sure I don't have any horrible scars or tattoos. Don't you worry. I have nothing to hide. So there you go. That's me. 100% natural. <laughs> I'll tell you that.
that has never happened before. The lightning round begins. Stop it. Now, what was Monica's nickname when she was a field hockey goalie? Big fat goalie. Correct. <laughs> Rachel claims this is her favorite movie. Dangerous Liaisons. Correct. Her actual favorite movie is... Weekend at Bernie's. Correct. <laughs> In what part of her body did Monica get a pencil stuck at age 14? Oh! Ew, no! Her ear! All right, Monica categorizes her towels. How many categories are there? Okay. Everyday use. Fancy. Guest. Fancy guest. Two seconds. Uh, 11? Eleven. Unbelievable. Eleven is correct. Yes! <laughs> All right. That's four for the guys. Ladies, you're up. All right, come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Thirty seconds on the clock. Five correct questions wins the game. The lightning round begins now. What is Joey's favorite food? Sandwiches. Correct. Chandler was how old when he first touched a girl's breast? 14? No, 19. Thanks, man. <laughs> Joey had an imaginary childhood friend. His name was... Maurice. Correct. His profession was... Oh, Space Cowboy! Correct. <laughs> what is Chandler Bing's job? Oh. oh, gosh. This has something to do with numbers and processing. And he carries a briefcase. Ten yeah. seconds. You need this or you lose the game. <gasps> it's, um, it has something to do with transponding. Oh, 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 he's a trans... Anybody's ass. Yeah. After one class, I don't think so. What? You want to see me self-defend myself? Go over there and pretend you're a sexual predator. Go on, I dare you. <laughs> well, of course you could defend yourself from an attack you know is coming. That's not enough. Look, I studied karate for a long time. <laughs> and there's a concept you should really be familiar with. It's what the Japanese call unagi. <laughs> Isn't that a kind of sushi? No, it's a concept. Yeah, it is, it is. It's freshwater eel. <laughs> All right, maybe it means that, too. Oh, I would kill for a salmon skin roll right now. You no, know, fine, get attacked. I don't even care. Come on, Ross, we're sorry. Please tell us what it is. Unagi is a state of total awareness. Okay, only by achieving true unagi can you be prepared for any danger that may befall you. You mean in case someone's trying to steal your bamboo sleeping mat or your kettle of fish? <laughs> All I'm saying is, it's one thing being prepared for an attack against, like, each other. Whole nother story being prepared for an attack. I don't know, like, surprise! <laughs> All right, you knew that was coming, but that doesn't mean you have unagi. Ooh, you know what? If we made reservations, we could have unagi in about a half hour. <laughs> you know what? What the hell was that? A lesson in the importance of unagi. curious, at what point during those girlish screams would you have begun to kick my ass? All right, so we weren't prepared. I'm sorry I had to take such drastic measures to make my point, but I, look, I just want you guys to be safe. Oh. Danger! Uh-huh, unagi. So 
examine skin roll. That ends today's class. And let's remember, let's be safe out there. It's a great class. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, I was watching. Um, hey, a couple of questions, though. Um, you know about that, that last move where that woman tripped you and then pinned you to the floor? What, 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 what would you do next? Well, then she'd take her keys and try to jam no, them no, in you. No, 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 no. What would you do next? Oh, me, the attacker? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Why? I tried attacking two women. Did not work. <laughs> what? No, I mean, it's okay. I mean, they're, they're my friends. In fact, I, I, I was married to one of them. Uh, <laughs> you this straight, man. You attacked your ex-wife? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no I tried. <laughs> but I couldn't. That's why I'm here. Maybe we could attack them together. <laughs> that, that's a no. Uh-huh. Nowhere to run. I don't like sitting up here. I'm, I'm gonna go over... No, Rachel, they got here first. Oh. <laughs> Why is Ross doing that? Danger! Oh, my God! Why is he jumping on those women? <laughs> we should help them. I don't think they need any help. Ah! <laughs> oh, look, there's, there's Monica and Chandler. Hey! Hey, you guys! Hey! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Chandler and Monica! Chandler and Monica! Oh, my God! Christmassy, you gotta have something. <laughs> I'm the holiday armadillo! <laughs> years and years ago, there were these people called the Maccabees! Oh, ho, ho, Merry Christmas! <laughs> Well, I'm here to see my old buddy, Ben. What are you doing here, weird turtle man? Did you bring me any presents, Santa? You bet I did, Ben. Put her there. <laughs> well, it would have worked this time if his hands weren't so damn small. Years and years ago, there were these people called the Maccabees. Merry Christmas! <laughs> and that's why we celebrate Hanukkah today. The end. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite part was when Superman flew all the Jews out of Egypt. <laughs> Looks like the Easter Bunny's funeral in here. 